PrimingSource.com here, and we're looking at a Tag Hoya Aqua Racer Chrono Timer. Uh, this is their, uh, they, they have a couple of different Chrono Timers. One is the Formula One, and they have this one, which is the Aqua Racer. Um, the Aqua Racer is, uh, I guess, one of their mid range lines like above the Formula One, uh, the Formula Series, and the, uh, and below the, I guess the Carrera and the Link series, uh, the the Aqua Racers have um, the three link bracelet like this, and uh, the the current ones have the this fairly recognizable bezel, uh, which has polished markers at uh, one, three, five, seven, nine, and eleven clock positions here. Um, Nice looking watch, 43 millimeters. Um, I've had the uh, Formula uh, One Chrono Timer as well, um, but this one is substantially nicer. Um, you probably see the review on it if you look. So as you can see, the blue tint. Um, good chunky size watch. Fairly fairly narrow lug width for for 43. It's a 20 21 millimeters and it tapers down to I think it looks like 18 um, the Tag Hoya uh, deployment buckle there with the get the focus the uh, diver extension no fold over just button release look at the back has the little uh, the little suit, the diving suit hat thing there on the back. All the Aqua Racers have this. Um, as you can see, it specifies that it's got a sapphire crystal and it's good down to 300 meters. Swiss made, etc. And uh, as you can see, this this uh, digital readout's uh, different than uh, the Breitling ones that has a curved top LCD, a flat bottom one, and a third one there that shows the date. And uh, there's a, the two pushers here and the crown here. If you turn the crown, it'll turn to uh, the time. So it shows the digital time here. Turn it now more, so now it shows the uh, date down there. This was Sunday. And then this one's the alarm. Turn the next one, the chronograph, and see the chronograph go hundredth of a seconds up here and seconds down there. And if you want to light it up, you just push the crown in. And uh, you can't really tell, but it's glowing sort of a blue color. If I turn off the light, you may be able to see it. See, there you can see it going blue. So it's kind of a neat thing. It's not really a backlight. It just because the the numbers are actually inverted on the black. So the light, the the it's the actual numbers lighting up rather than the back. Stop it and reset the chrono. Next we have the timer, and then back to nothing. So conserve battery life. It's best to use it on the. Uh, blank LCD mode. Uh, unidirectional bezel. Good for 120 clicks. There you go. Let's get a close up of the dial here. If I can get it to focus. There you go. It's a nice looking dial. A little chronograph, one one hundredth of a second. Aqua Racer, three hundred meters, written there. And then there's the logo. As you can see, as you saw earlier, it's luminous. There's also a loom dot here. And there's a uh, numbers on the outside here for the chronograph as well as the uh, bezel that changes fully brushed 
except for the side here it appears and these but uh, a fully brushed bracelet Tagoya Aqua Acer Chrono Timer 43 mils good size hope you enjoy the view